and welcome to this third video in the series looking at the different synthesis methods in Parawave Rapid. Please check out the earlier videos in the series for an overview and a look at traditional subtractive and wavetable synthesis along with FM synthesis using Rapid. This video will concentrate on Rapid's implementation of granular synthesis, so stick around as Rapid excels at granular and is capable of really smooth and transformative results. Rapid actually comes with a library of granular sounds in the shape of granular elements. This is included free with Rapid and gives you a good example of what uh, granular is capable of if you've never used it before. So there are pad sounds, uh, sequences, split sounds, textures, etc. Uh, textures and pads particularly uh, lend themselves very well to the granular techniques and I'm going to be showing you some of those in a moment. But to start off and to illustrate how you can completely transform a sound with granular, I'm going to transform an FM pluck sound into a choir-like sound. Of course, as well as wavetables, you can load samples into each oscillator slot. They can be your own samples and they can be multi-samples. If you go to the, uh, to call up some of the factory samples, uh, we can switch, as you can see, between wavetables and multi-samples. So um, there's a good selection here, 456 of them in the factory bank and in granular elements, you'll see that the multi-samples have been chosen more specifically because they lend themselves well to granular uh, synthesis. But if I go to the factory sounds, something that's, uh, and go select multi-samples again, you'll see, for example, if I select factory bass drums on each key of the keyboard, are a variety of kick drums. And similarly, the snares, there's a section for snares and a section for percussion. Uh, this is great if you're trying to build a track up quickly uh, or you're working to a deadline and you just need a good selection of sounds. They're there in some of the multi-samples. But the sort of sound I'm looking for is an FM style sound that I'm going to transform using granular. So let's uh, go back in the library and have a look for that. So from the list of multi samples, you'll see there is an FM section. So I'm going to choose the sound 349 FM pluck and we'll have a listen to that uh, now. OK, so let's go to the effects section and select granular synthesis. Now to illustrate what's going on, I'm just going to reduce the number of grains to one and you can see the shape of that grain and you can hear the effect of it when I play it. So granular synthesis is breaking down that waveform into small grains. And if I take the uh, length of it and reduce it, you'll see here the effect of reducing the length. So using the length command, I can increase the length of the, of the uh, grain. And using the morph command, I can adjust the shape of it. So if I do that, I'm getting a percussive sort of grain. But I want a smooth sound, so I'm going to keep morphing until I get this sort of effect here. Now I can increase the number of grains, and you can see the effect uh, if I if I hover over the morph. You can see the effect; they're overlapping each other. So with detune off, I get quite an unpleasant tone. Let's detune each grain. OK, and let's adjust the length and the morph. So I get a nice smooth sound that's using 18 grains. Now, what? What's, look at this programming, right? If I put that down to about, uh, well, let's take it up to 50 and have a look at the effect on the CPU. So this is 50 grains. So the CPU for a single note is only registering 1%. Let's uh, just make this more like a pad sound. Play a three note chord. 
2% CPU for 50 grains. The next stage to working out what's going on in granular is to move the phase, which is the start position of the first grain. So if I increase the phase, you'll see that now it's moving it away from where the harmonics were high at the beginning part of the sound to slightly later in the sound. So if I move it further along, I'm getting very mellow. And if I take it further to the left, getting a, a slightly richer sound. Now I can introduce a random element as well. So if you look at that, it's going to randomize the values between those two points. Let's move the phase a wee bit again. In fact, no, let's save that for the next section that I'm going to show you. Let's just leave it as it is for now. The random level means that each grain will be at a slightly different level to the other grains. That can help with these sort of organic type sound that we're experiencing. And the spread spreads them out over the stereo field. Random length similarly will make sure that not all grains are exactly the same length. But that's a very smooth sound and the sort of sound I'm looking for. So to summarize what we did, we've broken the sound into 50 small grains. We've adjusted the length, given some of them a random length. We've adjusted the spread, which is the uh, left-right position in the stereo field. And we've given each one a slightly different random level. So now to show you just how smooth the granular engine in Rapid can be, I'm going to load up the intro of a completed track. Now I hope this won't get me into a copyright strike situation, but the final sound is transformed so much I can't imagine that will be the case. The track is First Lament by Tiger Moth Tales. So I'll drag and drop the sample into the waveform and you'll see I'm presented with uh, various import options. It's a single sample. Uh, I can import multi-samples and there's a resynthesis function, if I can pronounce it, that uh, we'll uh, look at in another video. But I'm just going to select single sample for now, give it a, uh, a, a root note if necessary and click import. So now if I hold down a key, you'll hear that that, that section of the track, if I move through the phase, You've got headphones on you'll hear just because it's quite a low sound it's basically repeating that portion of the of the track again and again so if I move along it's where a flute comes in you can hear the tinkly bells in the background as well and there's a guitar chord coming up there. So I'm basically holding on that guitar chord or I can go back and hold it on the flute. So smooth. And this is 50 grains. Now I can reduce the number of grains and it's still got a lovely smooth effect. Or I can really go silly, take it up to 100 grains at the CPU. It's barely moved. It's only a single note, but 2%. I'll put it back to 50 because that is way over the top. And so as we move through the phase, we're, move, we're stepping through that introductory section of the track. You want to check out Tiger Moth Tales, actually, if you're into sort of uh, proggy music. Excellent. So what I'm going to do now is look at that random section that we nearly looked at before. So I'm going to wait over this section where the flute comes in and increase random. And as I increase random, you'll see that the size of the area where the where the grains are triggered is randomized between the two extremes that you can just see at the top of the screen. So 
So we're getting little bits of that guitar strum. In fact, if I increase the length. We're getting quite a lovely, uh, lovely effect. So let me just take the random level down again and we'll look at a track that uh, I've created. Um, if I go to my own multi samples, Generative Rainbow Dome is a piece of music that was basically uh, created in a generative manner. Let's move the phase across, take random down. So we're stepping through This is a complete track, by the way. It's roughly eight minutes long. We're stepping through areas of the track. You'll hear there's bells coming in and out, choirs, strings. And if I introduce random, it'll pick out. It'll give us a lovely sort of wash. Of sound. Let's put some reverb on that. I can't resist it. So I'm going to call up uh, Space Supernova. Actually, the, let's try a different one. We tried that earlier. Let's try um, Space Beautiful. No, oh, perfect. Listen to that tail. Gorgeous. So I hope that gives you a good idea as to the granular capabilities of uh, Rapid. I have tried a number of different granular synths and uh, Rapid certainly I can get the smoothest results from Rapid and uh, coupled with that reverb well it's lovely so let's just listen to that sound uh, thanks very much for watching the video and uh, do subscribe if you haven't done so already there's one more to go we'll be having a look at the final method of synthesis in, in rapid resynthesis so we'll have a look at that in the next video but for now let's have a listen to the sound and uh, that gorgeous reverb